level. The former Saigon has been called Ho Chi Minh since 1975, and if we don't know it from anywhere, we must have heard it from the musical entitled Miss Saigon. It lies in the south of the country, only 20 kilometers from the border of Cambodia, but 1,760 kilometers from the capital of today, Hanoi, with which it's linked with railways and public roads. Over six million people live on its 2,000 square kilometers. Pagoda construction is as typical of Vietnam as China or Japan. A technical book on Far East architecture writes, the main buildings of the Buddhist temples are the main hall and the pagoda. These buildings stand on a square courtyard enriched with a covered corridor, a distant relative of the medieval ambulatory. An inner gate leads to the inner courtyard. The house of reading to people, the hall of teaching, the repository of holy books and relics, bell hall, and priests and monks sleeping halls belong to this group of buildings. Offices, official and farm buildings, storehouses, dining rooms, and a lot of other various sized establishments completed the building complex, which was arranged following the Chinese pattern. It's typical of Saigon that among the Asian pagodas we can find more French-styled buildings than in other parts of the country. Buddhist believers often buy songbirds in cages. They're sold near the temples and have the significance that believers are allowed to let them fly away, thus paying off the good actions for that day. There's a shocking number of bikers and motorcyclists. The proportion is the following, 3 million motorbikes and 400,000 cars. Today, the building that had been built for the Indo-Chinese French governor is called Palace of Reunification. After the French left the country, it became the Vietnamese Prime Minister's residence. He called it the Palace of Independence. In 1962, the building suffered such serious damage that it had to be reconstructed almost entirely. The new 20,000 square meter building was planned by Ngo Viet Thu. In the park, we can see the famous tank that broke through the gates of the palace on the 30th of April, 1975. This was the end of the Vietnam War. The ornate palace built by the French between 1901 and 1908 is used today as the town council, and that's why it can't be visited inside. The building is called Hotel de Ville. We may not need to go to the main post office, but the building is so beautiful that it's worth it just to take a look. There's life in the streets. Motorcyclists, cyclists, and pedestrians hurry home to do their business. But there are those who can sleep peacefully, even in this chaos. Notre Dame Cathedral was built by the French between 1877 and 1883. It's one of the most beautiful Christian churches in Vietnam. In front of it, the Statue of the Virgin can be seen. Ho Chi Minh is famous for its markets too. Ben Tan is the best known marketplace in the city. Its facade, built by the French, has become the symbol of Saigon. In front of it, in the roundabout, Tran Nguyen Hai's equestrian statue can be found on a modern pedestal. The stalls selling vegetables, fruit, and flowers are very exotic. There's a lot of sunshine and high humidity, which are both favorable for growing plants. The jewel of the flower markets is the orchid, which has several shapes and colors. At the stalls of the fruit sellers, less known fruit are for sale, such as rambuta, lychee, pomelo, mango, carambola, kumquat, papaya, and avocado. 
from which unusual works of fine art are made. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We travel.